Hello and welcome back children. This is Mr. Muzaffar presenting before you the seventh lesson of your phone radio reader. The name of the poem is Mystery of the Talking Fan made by which is written by Moody Robin. Okay, this poem is about the movement of a sailing fan. Movement of a sailing fan. The poet discusses the movement of the sailing fan comparing it to a human character. Here the poet has used personification. My dear children, do you know what is personification? If we give living characters to non-living things, if we give human characters to non-living things, like window is gazing me, window is gazing me, like sun is smiling, sun is smiling. What is this? This is called the personification. Here in this poem, the writer has compare, compare the, um, the sound of a sailing fan to a human. Sound of a, a sailing fan to a human character. To a human character. The poet is telling us about an electric fan that made a lot of noise. You all know, you all have electric fans. It is made, you know, electric fan is making a lot of noise. Electric fan is making a lot of noise. Here the point is telling us about an electric fan that made a lot of noise. That made a lot of sound. The poet says that he could not understand why there was so much noise. Here the poet says that he could not understand why there was so much noise or what the fan was trying to say or what the try what the fan was trying to say here he has uh, uh, you know he has taken he has uh, here the writer has thought in two different ways in first way he he, he saw that why this fan uh, you know is may was making a lot of noise or he thought that the fan was trying to say something to us something to us and he compared the sound of a fan to a human character to a human being to a human are you getting me my dear children i told you this poem is about the electric fan ceiling uh, you know ceiling fan this poem is about an electric fan and here the writer has compared the sound of a human sound of a fan to a human to a human being as i have told you personification literary device personification has used in the poem personification I, I have given you the examples of a personification personification means if we give living characters to non-living things like window is gazing sun is smiling here in this poem the writer has compared the sound of a fan to a human sound to a human sound and he now the writer is uh, trying to, the writer is thinking that you know why there is a lot of noise why there is a why there was so much noise or what the fan was trying to say or what the fan was trying to say one day an electrician came one day an electrician came and put oil in the noisy motor of the fan what he did he put a uh, oil he put a oil in the noisy motor of the fan after that the movement of the fan became smooth and silent it is obvious if, if you have a fan at your home and it is making you know it is making much sound you can you, you can uh, use you can put you know oil you can put oil in the in the noisy motor and that will definitely help uh, uh, that will definitely seem that the more you know the fan will make less noise the movement of the fan became smooth and silent my dear children the mystery of the fan why was told the mystery of the fan the mystery of why the fan was 
talking. What was mystery? Here in the poem, my dear children, why the fan was talking? What the fan was talking? Uh, why the fan was talking, my dear children? This was the mystery here in the poem. The poet calls the fan's voice an electrical chatter. Chatter means one who is talking. A ch electrical chatter box, my dear children. Electrical chatter box. In this way, we have finished this poem. My dear children, if you have any problem, any query, please feel free to call me or arrange a conference call so that I can uh, help you to come out from a problem. Thank you and have a good day.